G'day YouTube, this is just a bit of a look at the latest release of Manjaro Linux 17.1, so the latest release. So getting into it, it is, uh, as a bit of an overview now, uh, it's one of the most actually popular Linux distributions and it's actually based on Arch Linux. But it has been designed to be a lot more user friendly than Arch Linux and uh, seamlessly designed for a simpler user experience. So that's kind of what they're going with here. Um, all the power of Arch, but uh, with a nice front end. So for example, what we have here is the, the desktop interface. Um, it's, uh, it's actually a little bit of a, I guess you could say it's the GNOME desktop, but it has been rebranded. It is also, I guess, uh, a recent addition in terms of being a, de a default desktop environment as well. So as you can see, it's, um, it's, it's pretty special looking there. Uh, if we were to go to that uh, obvious GNOME menu, it does look a bit more GNOME-like there. Should I say GNOME 3.0? Uh, well, let's see. The file manager itself, so let's see if we can pop that one up here hiding around here. So if I were to jump to the about menu here, we'll see that it's called files. So it's GNOME files as well. So it's all within the GNOME base there. Also known as Nautilus files, that kind of thing there. But interestingly, it's got a pretty cool looking uh, edgy Manjaro dark theme to it as well. Uh, I feel like a hacker just loading this one up. But uh, moving on, let's see what else we've got. So the kernel. So let me just open this up and we'll just check what the kernel's at here because it is a rolling release. Now, let's see. The kernel is 4.14, which I've got to say, it's not the latest Linux kernel. Uh, for example, Ubuntu is using 4.15, Fedora is using 4.16, but uh, this uh, it's, it's it's not like others like Solus, which is using 4.12, or even Debian, which is 3.16 or something like that. So it's 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 fairly there. It's it's not too bad, I would have to say, for that one. Uh, let's see. Let's have a look at the the RAM usage. I suppose I could. Uh, I've already got it up here, but some people might prefer the uh, software monitor which actually doesn't seem to be showing there so it's probably good that I've got this one loaded up here the the terminal based uh, software monitor of sorts. So as we can see here, uh, with just a few small applications open, it's running at um, a RAM amount of 800 megabytes or so, which is pretty standard, I suppose, for a Linux uh, desktop. It's not the lightest weight, but it's also not the heaviest weight of Linux distributions, so somewhere in the middle. As long as your software, or should I say hardware, isn't uh, that old, you should be able to run this fairly fine. Uh, we've got uh, a bit of idle for the most part on the CPUs there, just the two running there, which is isn't too bad. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? So in terms of installation, so you can use the software center, which is hanging out around there in the applications menu, but uh, some people like to know how to install uh, an application through the terminal. And uh, being Arch Linux, you may have guessed it, it is using the, the Pac-Man update method. So I've used that before here somewhere, and here we go. So let's say uh, we need root privileges, so sudo, then the Pac-Man, the command, and S, fairly much for install, and then what we want to install, say htop, which I've already installed there, throw in my password, and go ahead and install. I think the update method is uh, something along the lines of SYU, and that is a capital S, by the way. Synchronizes packages, core is up to date, extras up to date, community is up to date, etc, etc, etc. There is nothing to do, it says, because that's already updated, which is great to see. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. A uh, little welcome menu there, which is fantastic. But it's a, uh, it's a, a really quite a refined version of uh, of, li of a Linux distribution. I, I really enjoy this one with the power of Arch. There's a lot of Arch enthusiasts out there, and there's a lot of uh, beginners out there. And it kind of brings the best of both worlds uh, to an operating system, which I, I find to be cr pretty cool. Um, that's probably all I have to say on it, apart from the fact that uh, it is uh, one of the most popular Linux distributions, and I get that information from uh, a particular website that tracks the downloads of uh, certain Linux distros or, you know, the top 500, and this is actually number one from that list, which doesn't make it the most popular Linux distro, but it certainly proves it to be one of the most popular ones. So cheers, guys. Um, thanks for that. I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, yeah, have a good one. Please subscribe. Ciao.